a young man stood at the bottom of the stage. He was next in line to receive his diploma. As he stood there, he began to think back through his entire life as a student. From his first words to his kindergarten teacher, which were, you're not my mommy, to the playground obstacles of his intermediate years, on to his first junior high dance where he thought that he kissed the girl of his dreams only to find out that it was her eyeball. Now here he stands. All of the memories of the long nights he stayed up studying for the finals, the good times and the bad times. What is waiting for me after school, he thought to himself. Will I have to find new friends? Will I go off to college? What about that army recruiter? Will he ever leave me alone? So many memories, so many questions, all right before he received his diploma. Honored guests, committee members, staff, and graduating class of 2012, thank you and welcome to this very special occasion where the dreams of every student become a reality. It is an honor to be here today, being in front of you all, expressing my heartfelt appreciation and desire to fulfill my dreams and aspirations. To the graduating class of 2012, you may be facing the same questions and memories as this young graduate I mentioned earlier. You may be wondering, what truly awaits you after graduation? You may be scared of this fact, that once you accept your diploma, there will be no more waiting for the school bus at 6 a.m., no more cafeteria food, no more gym class, no more high school football games, and no more UIL contests or field trips. Okay. So maybe you're not going to miss the cafeteria food. But these events and places have been a part of our lives for as long as we can remember. It is hard to literally change overnight. And yet, tomorrow will be the first day of our young adult lives. You, like this young graduate, are not alone. We all are facing this same challenge to embrace adulthood and begin the new phase in our lives. Graduates, this is an exciting time for you in your life. You may be facing the decision of a new summer job or in a serious discussion with your parents about one of the great branches of our great military. You may be praying about what college to attend this fall or if you will be going to a trade school or seminary. Whatever dreams God has planted in your heart, I have confidence in this class of 2012. You will succeed in fulfilling those dreams. For me, I have learned to give all of this to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God tells us in Proverbs 3, 5, to trust solely on Him and not on our own understanding. God has laid a path for all of us and he will guide us to that path. We must trust that he knows best and will bring us to the place that he wants us to be. He gives us dreams and desires, and he allows us to take action to capture those dreams. However, what is on your mind right now, I encourage you to put it aside. Because today is our day. Today we relish in our accomplishments. We remember the great times that we all shared together and forget about our failures. We triumph over our victories and learn from our mistakes. Today is our day. Today we graduate. To the staff members of our great school and our loving parents, thank you for never giving up on us. Thank you for pushing us and gently prodding us, even when we couldn't understand why. It must be very difficult to raise and teach a teenager. There comes a time in our teenage minds when we think we have learned all we need to learn out of life. 
and the need for teachers and parents are overrated. Yet, here we sit, today, because of you. I guess we don't know everything there is to know about life, after all. Through all your hard work, frustrating days, late nights, and months of having no weekends to yourself, we, the graduating class of 2012, want to sincerely thank you for your devotion and your resolve to make it one more year with us hard-headed know-it-alls. It takes a special person to teach and parent a teenager. And all of you are the most special people in our lives. Never forget that, because we will never forget you. Thank you, and may God richly bless you while you serve to please Him.